G'day guys and welcome to Primal Waters. Today we're going to have a look at smart drum lines. Now I mentioned these a couple of days ago in my video about culling sharks in Australia. So I thought I'll do a video today just to give you guys a bit of information what these are. Anything else you want to find out I will link in the description bar down below. Now Australia has the highest number of fatal shark incidents in the world. In the last 100 years there have been more than 573 shark incidents. New South Wales, which is the eastern state here in Australia, is probably one of the highest states uh, of shark incidents. So we're going to look at the smart drum lines that are used uh, in that state. Now, New South Wales and West Australia are the only states that use these. And uh, I'm not too sure about Queensland. So uh, SMART stands for Shark Management Alert in Real Time. SMART drum lines consist of a anchor, two buoys, and a satellite link GPS communication unit uh, attached to a hook baited with a seed mullet. A triggering magnet is attached to the communication unit. When a shark takes a bait and puts pressure on the line, the magnet is released, alerting the boat crew and DPI scientists that there is an animal on line. Once alerted, the team, the team respond within 30 minutes to tag and release a shark or other marine animals. Now, also, which is really cool, there's actually a shark app called New South Wales Shark Smart. And what happens there is they upload all information about the shark that has been caught. Now, since this shark has been tagged, it has a GPS device or a, a location device as well, which pings out to uh, any of the uh, receivers that have uh, been deployed along the coastline. So what you can actually do is it alerts you on your uh, Shark Smart app that the shark is actually in that uh, area. So say if you go to a certain place uh, for a swim that day, you can actually check your shark app and it will tell you if the, that shark is in that location at all. So uh, it's not going to guarantee you that, uh, that a shark that hasn't been tagged is, is there, but uh, at least you know uh, you got some idea of um, if there's any sharks uh, in that area that you want to swim in, swim in. So I'm not too sure how many sharks have been tagged so far. There would have been a lot, but there's a lot of, you know, to have that information um at your hand or at your disposal just to know uh, it's safe to go surfing or swimming in that area is uh, pretty cool actually. So now smart drum lines are set every morning uh, approximately 500 metres offshore at a depth between 8 to 15 metres of water. They are collected at the end of, the, of each day and are not left overnight. So they're deployed in the morning, picked up at dusk and uh, and that's how, how it goes. So... It's an interesting way uh, on protecting uh, Australian beaches. Uh, I know particularly in, in the eastern states, uh, not here in South Australia, I'd, uh, there's no shark nets deployed at any beaches. But New South Wales, um, most of their beaches, I'm not too sure if there's still shark nets out, shark nets out there, but um, in the past that's, that, well, that's what was used to protect beaches. But unfortunately with shark nets... Um, uh, sharks don't survive when they're caught in there and then unfortunately other marine animals like dolphins, whales, they get caught in shark nets as well which is uh, very sad um, indeed. So uh, there you go guys, I just wanted to let you know what smart drum lines are, hopefully that helped you out. Uh, I'll put any more information in the description bar down below uh, for you to go check out for yourself but I really love this uh, information shark smart app which i will uh, download onto my phone so i can have a look i'm kind of looking at the uh, twitter feed as well right now and i'll look at the latest shark that was caught so this is probably i guess the, the best way at the moment to um try and protect beaches but also uh, protect sharks and other animals to get rid of these shark nets uh, as well. So the latest one was three hours ago. DPI Fisheries advised tag white shark detected by Lighthouse Beach uh, re receiver at eleven o eight. So there you go. There you have it. So there's a receiver uh, that a uh, tag white shark. Uh, I wonder if they give you the information on how big these sharks are as well. It'd be really cool. But I will link these in the description bar down below as well if you want to go check them out.
but uh, here's another one that's uh, about four hours ago. Tag White Shark detected by Crescent Head Beach. So Crescent Head receiver at 10:37 a.m. So there you go. So these are these white sharks are sharks that have been caught before and tagged, and uh, now uh, since they've got these tags, um, they can alert people that there's a shark in the area. So very cool. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, drop a comment down below, hit that like button, uh, share this video. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.